How's it going everybody? While I was out yesterday, we got a special delivery. Uh, this is the Kestrel Met 6000 weather station. Uh, a little while ago, somebody from the company had reached out to me uh, about possibly trying out some of their products. Um, I've been very hesitant to, to do anything like this. You know, um, I've had a couple people reach out to me in the past about things and they always want to kind of do something weird where you buy their product on Amazon and then they reimburse you uh, later. I'm not, not really keen on that, uh, but I've been in the, <clears throat> I've been thinking about or planning, been planning on starting some sort of uh, like a weather log uh, to kind of track things that are going on you know, in the garden versus the current weather conditions and try to build like a little historical database. Um, this spring has been a little bit off because we've been running around so much getting ready for my sister-in-law's wedding. Um, and now that we're back in the garden again, uh, this is a, a perfect time for this thing to arrive. So I wasn't really sure what we were getting, but after seeing the box, I looked it up and pretty excited about this. The Kestrel Met 6000 is an all-in-one solar-powered home weather station, priced just under $1,000. They offer it in a Wi-Fi and also a cellular-enabled version. They offer it in a freestanding version with like a little tripod, and the one that I got here is a monopole design that attaches to either the rooftop or the side of the building. With age and experience, I've learned to always read the directions and follow them. With a precision instrument such as this, I really want to make sure I take my time and get it right the first time. So often we find packages like this just filled with styrofoam and plastic. I was pleasantly surprised to find that there was zero of that in here. All the packaging in here was made of very high quality cardboard that was clearly perfectly designed to, to be cut and folded in ways that would fit this just right. The only plastic involved was a couple small bags with parts. The assembly instructions were extremely easy to follow. Not that the bar is very high, but when you have a some assembly required piece of furniture or a tool or something like that, you generally get uh, some really cheap tools to put it together. The ones that came in this package were definitely higher quality than that. Here I'm installing the anemometer, which is for measuring wind speed and direction. This weather station also measures and records rainfall, barometric pressure, relative humidity, and temperature. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go to their website and check it out for yourself. Uh, they have a couple different options. It's a little bit of an a la carte. They have different attachments that add on, including a soil sensor array that measures moisture and temperature, a sensor for measuring leaf wetness, and also a sensor for measuring solar irradiance. Here I'm installing a ring on top of the rain measurement device that you put these little pins into and it will deter birds from landing on the unit. I made sure to dry fit the unit to the monopole before attaching the monopole. I wanted to make sure that everything was going to go on there properly uh, so that I wasn't trying to mess around with this up on the ladder. Unfortunately, I don't have a maypole on the roof or some sort of other anchor point that I could tie off the ladder. I'm sure you're in the same boat on this one. So make sure that your ladder has proper footing and 
if you have somebody available to foot the ladder for you and hold those in place, you know, bonus points there. If you're doing it by yourself, be safe. There's a ridiculous number of deaths and debilitating injuries every year from people falling off the ladders. And it doesn't have to be very high. Now that I'm an experienced weather station installer, a little pro tip for you here. Uh, make sure that if you're not using self-tapping screws, that you bring a drill bit up, get the pilot holes done so that you're not really fumbling around with the unit and have everything handy so you're not sitting there fumbling around with parts in your pocket. They do say to try to get the unit to the highest point on the roof. Uh, the second story on our house would be a little bit occluded by a tree that's in the background there. So I tried to get it to the highest point that would be away from everything else. The way the weather usually comes into our property is from the backyard. Having the unit installed under a tree is gonna possibly screw up your rain measurements. You wanna make sure that the solar panel is at the correct angle for your latitude. There is a chart in the instructions so you know where to set it. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you're definitely gonna want that to be facing due south so you get the maximum amount of light possible. And once mounted, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the unit is perfectly level so that you get the most accurate measurements for rainfall. There it is, my Kestrel 6000 Wi-Fi enabled weather station. It's all set up. I've got the app all ready to go. So I'm gonna monitor for a few days and I'll let you know how it's going. Thanks for watching.